I'm SirTapTap, and this is StarTap. No relation. Um, this is a tapping idle game, as you might have guessed. And it's about space! That might also not be a surprise. So, basically the story in this... Um, I think I can actually show you some of the little story galleries. So, basically Stella here flew off into space. And this little alien friend is trying to help her out. And it kind of plays with the whole thing where, you know, in mobile games like this, or in idle games rather, uh, there's pretty often a feature where you can reset and sort of, um, you know, you go faster after you reset and you get some features. You know, it's in almost all of the clickers these days. I'm not usually a huge fan of it. I'm not really a big fan of it in this game, honestly. Um, but if you like that sort of game, that's what this is. And like I said, it kind of interestingly works with that idea. It kind of makes it into a story element as well as just being, you know, a game mechanic. So this little alien pops out and tries to help Stella. And um, a cute little... There's some cute and, like, heartfelt story elements to it. So Stella, her boyfriend passed away, and so... This diamond is him, you know. To me, you're all diamonds, right? So, the little alien friend sort of imbues the diamond necklace with, um... It turns into the star soul, which is uh, the main mechanic of the game. So that's the gem right here. That's good old boyfriend, Dan. And uh, whenever that meter fills up completely, we shift 5% towards our goal. As you can see, our ETA is like 300 years. Um, that's an unfortunate amount of distance to cover. Um, I am quite far in the game, so I, I'm i actually ridiculously far in the game. I have no idea how big the game is exactly, but I am like multiple constellations away. So like here's the solar system map, right? And so for your first trip, I think I quit around um, Pluto, my first trip. Um, and early on, be, it's kind of, it works more of an, as an idle game because the travel distances are long enough. You do keep traveling as you leave the game idle, but it, it says 300 years, right? So go, go away ads. Um, <laughs> the, the game will actually progress at that pace, unfortunately, when it's idle. Um, when you're in the solar system, obviously the distances involved are much shorter. So early on, leaving the game idle and like offline works just fine uh later on you kind of need to play because what happens is that later on once you upgrade your drones here it's got it's basically if you played tap my katamari it's basically a little bit less bad version of that it's less exploitative and stuff and it doesn't really abuse a loved property like um that but the drones are basically the cousins if you played that game they're basically your passive um, value thing. These are pretty common in like any, you know, if you play Cookie Clicker, they're your factories and all that stuff. But once they get to level 1000, which I can't reach right now, uh, like I already have everything is 1000. Um, but once you get to level 1000, you can pick either raise the offline amount of resources you get or they auto tap for you, which I put all of mine into auto tap, as you can see them tapping away there. So by having them auto tap, it turns the game kind of idle again. Uh, you do have to be playing the game in order for them to do their work, unfortunately. So it's a bit more active than idle, which for some people is good. Um, I use Nox App Player, so I can just play, like, I can leave this on my PC while I do other stuff. And um, it's got the standard, you know, clicker upgrades. You got the one. You got the one that taps automatically for you, you got the one that multiplies your taps. And you've got a couple that increase the amount of uh, resources you get. And of course you have Cryonap, which uh, basically you conk out for X amount of minutes and you proceed that far. So as you can see, with all of this stuff active, we've gone from um, our ETA was 300 years, over 300 years. Now we're down to 44 years. And now we're down to 40 years. So as you can see, the star soul, they call it, is the, the main feature that makes everything work because you're just constantly advancing 5% forward until the amount of time left is within like a few hours. 
and then idle stuff will work but obviously you gotta get that far first but yeah we can see we're already 36 years and so you'll you'll shoot all the way down um, this meter pretty dang quickly and it just keeps getting closer it's kind of a really interesting way to do things because um, it makes it it makes it seem a lot farther away than it really is and uh, the game does kind of like I said standard um, idle game stuff you you reset and then you get um, exotic matter I think the stuff is called and you get a small amount of exotic matter when you don't redetermine which is what they call prestiging as you can see I can redetermine right now and I would get 11,000 so I could buy a lot of stuff um, and this game has reasonable prices for read it for um, artifacts or prestige items, whatever you want to call them. Usually these things stretch on forever and you can get an infinity billion uh, points to get like 1% extra tap power. Um, in this game, no, they max out pretty quick, which I appreciate actually. Um, I like being able to max things out and I like things to be achievable. And so once I redetermine, I can probably get a bunch of new things and uh, max them out. But I'm kind of so far, I don't want to redetermine right now. But uh, we'll see how that go. I'm a crazy amount of solar systems in. I'm 76 um, planets slash constellations deep. And I should probably redetermine. But like I said, I just kind of let it go. And see, let's see how far we are. Now we're 32 years. So as you can see, it might look ridiculous the distances involved. And they are. They truly are. But. The 5% thing um, is pretty much what fixes everything. And like other games, you can click, the UFO pops up and you'll, they'll give you help. Uh, it's, it is it is a fairly standard idle game. I really do enjoy the ambiance and the, you know, the s space noises, you know? Space noises. Um, I really enjoy the story too. It's very cute. Um, I won't spoil any. That was just like the start of the game that you saw, so that's not spoilers. Um, but yeah, it's very... Uh, heartfelt and it's it is long uh, it is a very long game like most idle clickers and uh so i don't know how long it'll take you but i mean I, with these idle clickers i kind of i just don't plan to you know finish them most of them you can't really finish it's not really meant to be done oh yeah the, the drones have uh this guy's from metroid um the, they have little abilities that you get they're exactly like cousins in um Tap my Katamari. I wonder if this game took inspiration, or I mean, it's a pretty standard template for these kind of games, so I don't really blame them if they took some inspiration, but uh, yeah. Also, it has these three modes, but the modes don't make any sense because, so the Star Soul mode is what makes you go, you go faster when you do the thing, the, the slipstream thing that makes you go 5%, or actually it upgrades. I think, I think, oh no, it's still 5%. Uh, you just get more exotic matter, but yeah. That's the thing that helps you go further distance. Um, this thing just gives you more resources, which makes sense. Uh, it lets you grind a bit if you're close to a, mile, um, a milestone. But this one, it raises your normal thrusters, but I don't understand that. If anyone does understand that, uh, please let me know. I have thought about making a guide for this, but I'm not really sure what I would say. I mean, there's not really a whole ton of strategy, and I don't know exactly what certain things do. I don't know. I just kind of play it. But yeah, the, the Star Soul seems significantly superior to absolutely everything else, like the other two modes. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a shop. The, they give you a decent amount of free... Um, every day when you log in, you'll either get free gems or a free premium item, which does all of this stuff. And I've been scared to use them, honestly. Um... Yeah, they do stuff like, oh yeah, the Star Soul Pendant, so like, that that number that it costs keeps going up, so like, re determination sets it back down to a tiny amount, so now we can do this really fast. Also, the amount of clicks, so when I upgrade the Star Soul thing, um, each click counts for more, so I don't actually have to tap 500 times, like it says on there, I have to tap, like, <laughs> a tenth of that, I think, right now, but that's because I have upgrades and stuff. But yeah, it's a pretty cute game, it's, it's simple. It's long, which may be a plus or minus. Um, I really like that it has a cute story with it. That was that was unexpected. And Stella makes little comments on all of her little travels when she's got there's like new places to go and stuff. So it's very cute. 
and um, I like cute things. So yeah, the, the push to monetize isn't too bad. There are ads. Every time you get to the end of a solar system or, you know, to a new constellation, you get a little ad. Um, this, the UFO usually wants you to watch an ad. Um, what was that game called? Tap My Katamari. Um, it actually lets you turn off ads in the little pop-up rewards, and I like that feature. I wish other games had that, because they're usually not worth watching ads for. I just want the free ones. D don't bug me with the ads. I mean, I, they gotta make money, right? But, yeah. Oh, and there's this little thing. You can kinda permanent upgrade. So this game has, you know, it has its layers of permanent upgrades. With this little dude, you can enhance your drones. And I like how you, you can pick how long you wait. Because it lets you pick um, a higher level reward that takes longer to recharge. So, like, if you can check the game every two hours, which I can't, um, you can get um, 100 of these things, or I guess 120 of these. But if you're willing to, you know, cut that number in half, you only have to manage it once every 24 hours, which is definitely preferred for my mind. I, I like messing with these things as little as possible. I like my idle games idle, you know? So there's, there's achievements and stuff, too. Um, it's pretty standard, like I was saying. But uh, it's cute. It's relaxing. It's Star Tap. Maybe check it out. Um, if people would be interested in a guide, I guess make mention of it. But uh, I'm not sure I will or not. Um, I'm not sure what I would say about it. But I guess I could do some basic tips. But yeah, that's Star Tap.